enough flight on the ball that it, was, that it wasn't going to pop up into the air and also enough drive on it forward momentum it was going to hold. And as I say, what all you can do in a situation like today is execute the shot. Be in a state of mind that you're going to execute the shot and accept whatever the consequence will be. And if it happens to go in the water, it goes in the water. Here's an illustration of the different flights that we've seen um, uh, of the players today, you know, and, and uh, most of the players you can see are just below that 90 feet. That's what they were trying to do. And uh, that's going to give you the best chance of hitting that green. But any, anybody certainly going up around 100 feet was, uh, was flirting with danger there as the wind was going to grab it. Randall 17, I just want to revisit something you, you brought up uh, in the earlier segment. Uh, you've been critical of this hole for some time, for years. You did come around to it, but today sort of was an illustration of, of, of what, in your estimation, needs to be fixed with this hole yeah, or, or redesigned. What would you do? Look, it, ex it exposed the major flaw in that hole for sure, and I get that golf's not fair and life's not fair. That's certainly true. But would you not agree that in staging a sporting event that you should take every effort possible to make the event as fair as possible? Is golf a fair game? No, 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 it's not. But if you're setting up a golf course, should you not ensure? This is why you rake bunkers. Uh, this is why you make sure that green speeds are the same from one hole to the next. This is why you make sure that green firm firmness are, are, are the same throughout the golf course. So that, uh, generally speaking, uh, whatever fairness or lack of fairness that you incur, generally speaking, would be distributed amongst the field. That's the thing. Sport begins to break down if you if you have any essence that it's unfair. But, now, I get that it's not Brian, fair. Uh, luck is a huge element to playing a professional golf. No the doubt. Luck the draw is something that happens. No and this is a freak day. This no, is not normal. It is. You're right. And but, we have to take it as a freak. There's I no point in making totally rules agree. for what is a freak day. Totally. Or totally, changing a green because of a freak totally day. Totally. But should you not, could you not prepare for the worst possible scenario? So in this particular instance, uh, you know, allowing, and I'm not sure that this would have done the trick. But just to say, uh, if you've ever seen the 15th hole of TPC Scottsdale, there is 15 yards run up short of it and 15 yards chipping area over it. Now, you could make these chipping areas should you extend the front of this green and the back of this green some 10 yards to where they're exceedingly difficult to get it up and down. And I'm just looking for, in cases like this, because it's very often, and, and again, it was a beautiful graphic, and I, and I appreciate the, the strategy of hitting it low, but you're also guessing on that tee. And, and you may choose the right flight, and I promise you scores of players got up on that tee today, chose the right club and hit the right shot and ended up in the water through no fault of their own, through sheer bad luck. Ghosts. 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 Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I would just argue that on a tournament like this, this is the premier event on the PGA Tour, $3.6 million at stake. I call it a major championship. The 17th hole, being where it is, let's say these conditions still exist and it's Sunday and it's the final day. It's just far too capricious of an element to have at the closing holes of a major championship. Great water holes are meant to tempt, not torture. Of course, strategic holes are, generally speaking, always better than penal holes. Right. But on a day like this, this hole is just far too penal um, and, it, and it, 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 tilts, it tilts the tournament more towards chance, more towards a matter of chance than it does towards chess, let's say, because this game is meant to be cognitive. It's meant to be about what happens between the ears. You can get up there, think right, choose right, hit right, and through no fault of your own, make an eight. But isn't that the case at uh, number 12 at, at Augusta National? No, I think, for, I think occasionally far, when Augusta I think far from it. No. Far from it. The 12th at Augusta National is a brilliant hole. It's a diagonal. And the beauty of that hole is when the hole location's over on the right, you sh you've got no business going over there. And I think we saw that in 2019 Masters where Brooks Kepka, Tony Finau, Molinari all went right. Tiger went between them. Jack always said he'd go right between those bunkers. He never aimed over there. And the great thing about that hole on the diagonal on a short iron, on a short iron, it is very very easy to get quick with a short iron, come out of it, and you'll miss it to the right, right-handed golfers. And that's where the water comes into play. That's a brilliant hole. No, but I'm just saying in terms of a gust of wind coming up, as it, it sometimes It could, but you have a does. bunker in the front and a bunker okay. in the back okay. that soften the inequity there, if you want to call it. That's what's needed here. Well, you've got a huge green here. 
Bramble. I mean, I mean, it's four, nearly 4,000 square feet for such a, it's only 135 yards. Yeah, but you can hit it and it's still go in the water. I know, but you know, you, you can't standardize golf. Golf is an outdoor sport. I'm not sport. saying you do. And, <laughs> not you know, saying you should. You're going to hit gusts of winds, you execute the shot. And, Absolutely. And you execute the shot and sometimes, like in Augusta, you can hit a great shot into Augusta and you can hit it exactly where Jack says over those bunkers and you can hit a gust. Or it can switch around and it can down into the zellias at the back. And that's the element of what golf is about. And, and one of the things about golf the word that's used so often is that word resilience and when that happens you go to the drop zone you drop it and you try to get up and down for four which many players did today and still you're safe with a four and you move on to the next Absolutely. hole so that it's a there's a it's a game of of chance it's a game of luck all of these things are combined in golf and and i think this is unique and i mean over the last five years 80 percent of players have come to this hole and hit the green this has been a hole with a scoring average of pretty decent to be honest it's, it's right. not particularly intimidating right. but when you get the freak day like this granted it's Exposed a little bit, but you know, it's part of the game. It's oh. what makes it so great. No winner has ever hit it in the water here at 17 and 18. Now, you could say that um, uh, that validates the hole. I say it indicts the hole. Um, because it's I too, it. it's too late. It. I'm not having it's it. Too I'm late. It. I'm it's too late. It's too late in the round. I'm not having it. I'm, I'm with you. It's I'm very entertaining. It. I think today, I know. I'm I think top golf's entertaining too. Yeah, and people ooh. laugh ooh. and they drink beer so when you, you uh, when you when let, you don't hit it in the blue circle. Yeah. Well, let me ask. I'm sure that I don't think it's a would, laughing matter. I really don't. So let me ask you a question. Golf, it's entertaining. We're in the we're in the we're in the sport of entertainment here. And and speaking, would you prefer to watch 35 under par winning around Kapalua with no wind in generic conditions no. for a day like this? No. No, I, I, I enjoy Kapalua for what it is. It's fun. It's but was it great fun views. this year at 35 under or was this more fun? This more entertaining and interesting. This was gripping TV today. You wanted to see every shot. There were so many ups and downs, I backs would, and arounds. I would, and there were so many questions asked of the players. It look, was fantastic. I would say what happened at Kapalua was far more about integrity and not about chance. And today was less about integrity and more about chance. So even though this was more entertaining, I don't watch sport just to be entertained. I watch but, sport to be amazed at the athleticism and talents of the athletes. And today, I couldn't tell who was talented on this hole and uh, who wasn't. Brandon, was, on this hole, there was so much skill required out there to Colin play today. Colin Morikawa is the best iron player in the game. Scotty Scheffler is the hottest player in the game. Mm. Both of them hit it in the water today. Yeah. Both of them. Are you are you are you saying that they didn't possess the talent or the skill to well, hit that green? They've got the talent. Two? They have got the talent. They didn't have it today. Justin Thomas did. Don't, is it any? Do you, you know, not think it's likelihood that they caught a gust that they hadn't prepared for that? Nobody could have prepared for. Listen, we all get intimidated playing this game. Even if you're Colin Morikawa, he put a poor swing on that. He came, he got ahead of it. He came off, and the ball squeezed out to the right-hand side. These guys are. are what about Scheffler? Yeah, same. I mean, look at he, he hit a beautiful low trajectory shot in there, and it went off yeah, the back. He, put, he came over the top. It was. <laughs> <less of a flat. laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not belittling that these players are fantastic, and we see them so often in these wonderful conditions when they impose themselves on the on the golf course. They take it over. They play in the front mm. foot and they just ripped the golf courses apart. I see so much of that golf, and today was about skill and back foot and the resilience and mental fortitude, and I love to see that tested, and, and I, I think we saw that tested today. I, I would agree with you for 17 holes, and one hole it was largely about chance, and, and by the way, I think, you know, it's often said that great holes are debated, and, and so it could well be a great hole. I, I, I used to think it was the worst hole in the golf, and I came around. Uh, you mentioned Muhammad Ali, and I liked it earlier. This was Ali Frazier of the 17th hole debate <laughs> that we just uh, we just enjoyed. You know, and by no, the way, sport, sport is sport is at its best when there's volatility. You know, and sometimes it's a golf course that makes the volatility, like Augusta, you have eagles and double bogeys. And sometimes the conditions make that volatility. And today the conditions mm -hmm. did, and that's what makes golf enthralling. Whether it's soccer, whether Agreed. it's boxing, sport whether is it's at its golf. Sport is at its best when you can identify. All of the things that you just talked about, skill, resiliency, and all that. On that tee, does not exist the highest level of skill or resiliency. It think is just a matter of chance. Is there not a skill today. in hitting a good shot? So say Scotty Scheffler hit a good shot today and it went through the back to regroup yourself, walk up 50 yards, drop the ball down, have the same shot, absolutely. again a lot less, and try to make a four, and, not, and keep your poise. That's a skill in that the game. That is absolutely a skill, and, it, and it's an admired skill. But him hitting the shot required all the skill, the concentration, the thought, the talent, the years of work, and a chance to win this golf tournament, and it went away, poof, like that, because he couldn't have imagined that a 50 mile an hour gust would be reduced to 20 miles an hour mid downswing. But that happens in 
every golf course in the world. It does, but every golf course in the world doesn't have a hole like that. And that's the well, and it doesn't have it as the 17th hole if it does have it. Well, it could be it, it could have gone into a bush or something on, on another hole where there is no water. That happens I mean, occasionally. That's that's, that's <laughs> what the that essence of the game in a windy day like this. You know, it, I, I'm not having it. I'm not. Having <laughs> and and <laughs> with, with the luck of the draw and, and the randomness of, of uh, the blustery conditions, you do lose some of the big names. Your idea that it is entertaining. Yeah. So Brooks Kepka's down the road. Xander Shoffley going to be down the road. You with, won't see him. Colin Morikawa. So that's what can happen. Yeah. And it opens it up uh, yeah. to, you know, maybe a we Bryce Garnett or somebody night. like mm -hmm. somebody like that. Um, you want to look at the shot trails here. I'm uh, feeling this is going to be wild here at the, the 17th hole. Uh, here we go. Look at it and look. I, you know, I, I looked up because this is the crazy stuff you like to do. But I looked up everybody to hit in the water and their apex. And some of the lowest ball hitters on the on the field in the tour hit in the water there. Streb, Scheffler, Horschel, Nalander. Siwoo Kim, Andrew Putnam, these guys have some of the lowest ball flights or lower than average and some of the lowest, the couple of lowest uh, ball hitters, they all, they found, all those guys I mentioned found the water. 